In this video, I'll demonstrate how to perform a wastewater calculation in order to resize the pipe net. Okay, so first of all, I will insert a calculation point by clicking on this function set a calculation point. I will set here at this stack. There is this pipe end. This is not what I would like to select. It's the domestic wastewater. And then I can select the absolute height. It's the minimal, so minus 0.37. Click OK. We see this dialog calculation point. I will set a system name as WW01 and I click directly on calculate. Okay. In the dialog of the calculation, we see here the, the, the columns for the calculation, the parameters here, such as the column pipe dimension DN, as we already see some segments highlighted in red. Okay. We also see here the, the slope indication, the discharge unit, and also the flow. Okay, uh, we can also select the options tab in which we can also change the frequency factor from K 0.5 to 1.2. Let's come back to the calculation. Let's uh, have a check on the segments uh, highlighted in red, meaning they are uh, the exceeds the performance requirements or they are under uh, under or, or they are under dimension at the moment. If I select this segment, it's highlighted in the model, which is this coming to the stack. And uh, the second one, this is the beginning of the branch. Okay. Now let's click calculate to resize it. Let's open here. We see these two uh, were uh, resized to 100 DN. And also we have this segment to 32. This is the upper part of the stack where we don't have any connection, but I want to keep this 100. So I come to the drop down list and click 100 and then it locks the pipe dimensioning. I will uh, click OK to see the result in a model. Click OK. And here it is. We see that some reductions have, have been inserted. Let's see the result in 3D. Okay, so we see um, it has inserted correctly a reduction, a eccentric uh, reduction in the correct positioning or direction. All right. Yeah, all good.